Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a what I got for my birthday video. I am sharing with you everything that I got for my birthday. I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. So first up, I'm sharing the gifts that I got from my mum and there was definitely a bit of a theme this year. Um, she had asked me what I wanted and my main request was comfy pajamas and robes um, because I'm just at that stage in my life. Um, I am getting bigger as well, so I wanted some really, really comfy pajamas that I'd be able to wear, hopefully even when I'm at my biggest and just a little bit looser and just that would be very comfortable for me when I will probably be getting a little bit more uncomfortable. Um, and then I also asked for a robe as well. And I do have a robe that I really love, um, but it's very long and I'm getting a bit nervous about navigating the stairs with a robe and a baby in my arms because at the moment it's fine I just like lift up my robe and then climb the stairs or go down the stairs whereas with a baby I think it's gonna be more difficult so I also have pajamas and a robe and she really really delivered and um, so the robe that she got is from Barefoot Dreams and oh my goodness it is so nice um, so it is a bit more of a wintry robe I'd say it's not super super thick because I feel like some robes are like massive and um, whereas the volume of this isn't really thick but it's very very warm and cozy indeed it's a nice length as well um, I did ask for a kind of mid-length one and this is perfect like exactly what I wanted the color is so pretty it's this kind of dusky pale pink with like a hint of lavender so it's very very pretty it is a ribbed one as well you have these pockets on the side and then on the back there you have the tie but you actually have this kind of I guess it's kind of like a slip pocket but it's an area where the tie goes so you don't keep losing it every time you like undo it or redo it which I thought was so so clever fits really really nicely and is incredibly soft as you'd probably expect from Barefoot Dreams they literally never disappoint this is from the Cozy Chic Light um, so I guess that explains why it has that kind of cozy feel without being super heavyweight if you have their cardigans like you will know that they are fairly heavy duty in terms of the weight of the fabric whereas this is definitely substantial but it's not overly heavy I think it's going to be absolutely perfect and it's just so beautiful so I was so excited to get this like exactly what I wanted and hopefully I'll be getting a lot of use out of it this winter. And then she also got me some pyjamas so these are from Evergé. I absolutely love Evergé pyjamas. They are so soft and beautiful and they wear really well as well and you know pyjamas are something you wash quite frequently. I've had some mine for years and they still look really really great and so I wanted um, some longer ones and she got me this set which I just thought was so pretty and um, so it's kind of almost like a valentine's theme it's very very cute it has a cream background with this really cute heart print all over and then you have this simple collar and then you have a pocket right there on one side too so the fabric makeup of this is tensile model I definitely didn't say that right and with spandex as well so they are very stretchy but they are crazy crazy soft as well the pajama length is nice as well like they are long ones um, but they're not so long that you're going to trip up on them has an elasticated waistband very important at all times especially now for me and I just thought these were beautiful so comfy I love the Evergé fabric and just so unbelievably dreamy to wear so a little bit warm to wear these now but the weather is turning actually very very quickly I'm surprised by how quickly it's turning so hopefully I will be getting a lot of use out of these soon and then lastly for my mum she got me this little card holder from Dior which I was just so surprised by it is so so beautiful um so this is from the same line I believe it's not exactly the same print um but apparently it is the same line as the Dior book tote that I got recently and she knows how excited I was about that so she went and got me the matching card holder and it did come with the beautiful ribbon as well I've obviously already undone that and packaging is always so so lovely so it comes in their beautiful white box with the gold print Dior right there and then inside you have all the little tissue paper and then it has its own little dust bag again with the Dior right there and inside how beautiful is that it's this stunning card holder so you do have that beautiful ivory background it is a leather one and the print is kind of embossed on top so it's not completely flat it's really really pretty to look at I'm going to try and do a close-up so you can see might be a bit tricky on camera um, but it's really lovely in person the colors are so stunning I think it is the winter garden line so you have these beautiful kind of dark berries you have some purples in there dark greens 
absolutely stunning and you have the CD Christian Dior logo right there and then you have two pockets on the front two pockets on the back and then also the middle pocket right there too and then on the middle pocket you can see it's lined in this kind of um I guess it's like a nude beige color like really really pretty and then you have the Dior stamping in gold on one side really lovely I've never actually owned a single SLG from Dior before this is my first ever one and I just think it's absolutely beautiful like the quality looks to be very nice the leather seems to be lovely quality and the print is pretty much the prettiest thing like I don't think I've ever seen such a pretty floral print or just any print in general SLGs like usually SLGs are quilted or like they're just kind of plain leather Whereas this one actually has a print on it and I think it's the loveliest thing. Just the nicest surprise and I just thought this was so stunning and I cannot wait to use it. Next up I have some gifts from Dan's mum and she's always just the best gift giver. Like she puts so much thought and effort into her gifts and they're always so wonderful. This year was no exception. Um, so she got me three things in this beautiful little bag. The first one is this candle from Neom, and I'm a huge fan of Neom, particularly because it's an organic line, um, and I'm sure most of you are familiar with them, they're pretty famous at this point, but the difference with these candles is that when you burn them, you don't see any black smoke. It's always really nice, they do kind of burn really cleanly. This one, it smells absolutely amazing. Um, so it's called the Happiness Scented Candle, and it has neroli, mimosa, and lemon. Oh my goodness, it smells incredible. As in like, I had it completely closed, and even so, like it filled the whole room, like the scent is really strong without being kind of like overly overpowering. It comes in its own box as well and the packaging is always so beautiful. And the candle itself is just stunning, like in this beautiful glass container and it smells just so, so pretty. I'm not lighting this at the moment, I'm trying not to light too many scented candles when I'm pregnant, but this is going to be first on my list as soon as I'm not pregnant and... I'm just so excited about it, like it smells absolutely incredible, just the nicest scent, would definitely recommend if you like your kind of fresh citrus scents. It's very, it's not floral at all, it is just very fresh and just kind of clean and really really lovely and yeah, just the nicest candle. Next up she got me some slit silk hair ties and these are absolutely adorable, they're really really mini in size. I've been a huge fan of Slip for years now. I've used their products very consistently over the past few years and I think they're absolutely worth it. Like they are an indulgence, but especially when it comes to my hair, I heat style it so much that I always want to try and take steps to prevent further hair breakage when I can. And the silk hair ties are just a great way to do that. I had no idea though that they actually did them in mini size and I thought this was so clever and try and get some out. I've already been using these so this isn't completely full um, but they are absolutely adorable. Like look how cute those are and these are so genius because whenever I work out I really like to tie my hair up. I hate my hair just being in my face when I work out. I just don't want to think about it so I have quite an elaborate kind of tying up regime. So I tie it up in first ponytail and then I will braid it and then I'll secure it at the bottom and then I'll put that braid in a bun like it's very very extensive um, but I'm always short and but I don't even have any really small ties. I just have to keep on looping and looping when it comes to the end of my braid. Whereas these are so perfect like they're just really really tiny and just like exactly what I didn't know I needed just so great, they come in a whole bunch of different colors. Um, so I have the blush pink, I have this beautiful kind of taupe color, the navy, leopard print, black and silver. Absolutely adorable, just so great for that exact purpose and just the nicest, most thoughtful gift. And then she also got me a keyring as well. So this is from Smithson, who is a British stationery maker. But they also do beautiful leather goods as well. They always come in the most beautiful packaging. So it has its own dark blue ribbon in this beautiful kind of, um, I guess, mid blue box. It's really pretty and you have the Smithson stamped right there. And then inside you have this beautiful pink leather key ring. And I did specifically ask for a key ring. She asked what I wanted and I was like, honestly, what I really need is a key ring, which sounds weird, but I really don't have any use for my LV key holder now, which is great, um, but it does fit a lot of keys in. And in London, I used to have a ton of keys. I used to have my fob to get into our building. I used to have our actual door key. Same with my mum, so I used to have a fob for her building, a key for her door, and then I think I had one other key as well. So I pretty much filled up that entire kind of key holder. Whereas now I have one key, which is for a front door. Like I don't have any security fobs or anything like that. And it just kind of feels like overkill to be carrying that whole key holder around. 
when I just don't have any use for it. So I wanted something just nice and simple just to pop on the end of my key, just to make it a little bit easier to find as well because it does get lost. And she got me this and it's so perfect and beautiful. Um, the color is absolutely gorgeous. Just a really, really pretty shade of pink. And then you have that lovely, I think it's like a light gold um, kind of actual key ring. And then it just has Smithson stamped right there on the leather. Really lovely quality. I've had leather goods from them before and the leather quality is always really, really nice. And just exactly what I wanted, like nice and streamlined. It's not gonna take up too much room in my bags. But at the same time, it's substantial enough that it's gonna be easy to grab. And I thought this was beautiful, like so, so perfect. I'm absolutely over the moon with it. And I think the color is so beautiful. And next up is a gift that my friends got me. Um, so they are very, very into their gardening. And I wouldn't exactly say I'm super into my gardening, but I am getting a little bit more into my gardening. Um, we have been living with basically a dirt pile for a garden for about two years now. We had a lot of issues with it and we're finally getting work done like as we speak. There's like a digger in the garden right now. So I've been researching lots of flowers and roses. Um, I was asking them questions. And they obviously took that as a hint because they got together this gardening set for me and sent it to me for my birthday, which I thought was so, so nice. So this is from Bergen and Ball. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if that's like a gardening brand. I have no idea about the world of gardening in general, but it's from RHS and um, came this beautiful, very fancy box. And inside are a pair of shearers. I think that's what they are. I told you I'm like a full on beginner. And then this beautiful carrying case, at least I think that's what it is. And the print is so beautiful. Like even on the box, it's absolutely stunning. It has this really lovely navy um, background with all these kind of flowers and butterflies, like really, really lovely. And they got me the matching gardening gloves as well. And these are really actually like silky soft on the front. And then I guess they're reinforced um, on the other side as well. We have a lot of weeding to do. So I think I'm probably going to enlist my mum to help me, but it feels like it's gonna be a multiple day job um, because as I said, like the garden is just completely overrun. So these are absolutely perfect. I might not use these straight away because I feel like they're gonna get ruined. Um, but maybe when I get to like the nicer bits of actually planting flowers, but these are just stunning. And again, that print is so gorgeous. And then to complete the set, they also got me a kneeling pad as well in the same beautiful print. So clever, didn't realize this was a thing, but it makes complete sense because obviously you're not gonna want to use like a proper cushion outside. And then on the base, you just have that kind of dark gray. Very practical because I wouldn't be thrilled about putting this beautiful print like actually on the ground. But then on this side, it has that stunning print all over. You'll be able to see the print a little bit better there. So you have these butterflies, these gorgeous flowers. Just so, so pretty. It has a nice amount of padding as well. And I'm sure my knees are absolutely going to thank them. I thought this was so clever, just such a beautiful set. I love the print and the most thoughtful gift. And then finally, I have a couple of gifts from Dan, one of which unfortunately isn't here, but I will do my best to describe it. And the first one is this beautiful Reese jacket, which I thought was so stunning. This has been on my wish list and he was nice enough to get it for me. It is just the perfect quintessential Czech blazer. And you always know how much I love Reese blazers. They are just so perfect. Like they always fit so well. The cut is always fantastic. And the linings are always beautiful as well. So very silky to the touch, very nice to wear, very comfortable, but also incredibly sharp looking as well. And this pretty much ticks all those boxes. Like just a really classic, lovely style from them. You do have this great check print all the way through. So perfect for the upcoming autumn season. You have these very substantial, beautiful gold buttons. I'm gonna do my best to show you the detail on them because they really are stunning. Like very, very substantial. It is a double breasted one. You have that fantastic lining. I just like to roll my sleeves up, but you don't have to. You can obviously wear it full length as well. And it just fits pretty much perfectly, like really, really gorgeous. Probably planning on teaming mine with some faux leather leggings. Simple black crew neck, just something really, really easy going. But I love this. I thought it was so beautiful and classic and oh, just the loveliest blazer. And then last but not least, the main gift that Dan got me was a Cartier watch. I am so incredibly excited about this. Um, unfortunately, I don't have it here with me yet because it was on back order. Um, so we ordered it, I think it was like seven weeks ago and I think it was like eight to 10 weeks delivery time. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed it will arrive in the next month or so, but I don't have it here to share with you. Um, I will show you the photos of which one I got. 
debated on the different sizes I ended up with the mini one which is really kind of what swayed me towards the style in the first place I'm not a huge fan of really chunky watches in general I generally prefer dainty jewelry dainty watches I love the fact that this came in such a small petite size and I just think it's so incredibly classic and beautiful. I will promise to do a proper unboxing as soon as it arrives. There weren't that many stockists of this watch. Um, it kind of comes back in and out of stock in Cartier and then um, we end up getting it from Goldsmiths where it was on back order. So wasn't widely available. I think the larger sizes are, but the more petite size, I guess they just don't produce it that much. Um, but as soon as it does arrive, I will share it. I am just over the moon excited about it. Um, so yeah, nothing to share with you here unfortunately, um, but I will promise to do so as soon as it arrives. So that is it for this video guys, I hope that you enjoyed it. I will try and find links to what I can um, and link what I can in the description section. If you have any other questions for me, then leave me a comment. And as always, thank you so much for watching, I will see you in my next one. Bye guys! I don't know how, or how you do.